hello hello tribe welcome back to my channel so i'm bringing back one of the topics i used to do and it's a quickie um and it's called what is the outcome of this situation now here today specifically we are looking at anything that is not relationship related anything that's connected to formalities businesses finances projects and all of that jazz because i'm going to have the same video on my other channel that is focused on relationships so look out for that one and pile number one as usual is on the left pile number four is on the right if you need some more time stop the video those coins do not matter so don't try choosing by the one that looks the richest <laughs> okay and let's get into it i'll see you there Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one, let's see, let me just move this deck away. What is the outcome of this situation? <laughs> so you've got the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to have a very straightforward answer here, my pile number one people. You are being told, you yourself know that the outcome of this situation will take you further and open more doors intuitively you're already being led so do not doubt yourself you have a very strong connection to your intuition keep on going whatever you're doing is working and is going to take you on a very lucky path so expect good news whatever you're asking about um, for example how will my business go or how will this new career path go? Or how will my finances look like? Overall, you have a lucky, lucky card. Um, just an advice for some of you. Um, you may need to dive deeper into charts, calculations or structures, anything like that. Those who know that are slacking on it. Uh, but for the rest, expect good news. Expect to be protected. Expect luck. Let's see what else. I think uh, for a lot of you, you've already been told that. Maybe you're doubting yourself. Either intuitively you were told mm, to focus on that or to go for it. Or you have asked cards before. Would it be you doing tarot? Would it be someone else doing tarot? Or maybe you will be asking someone to pull tarot cards for you. If you're asking about business that is connected with spirituality in some way, you are going to be led there and expect good things to happen in the future financially um, or formalities wise visas i don't know any documents that need to be filled it feels like you're going to be celebrating because you will hear good news so that's what i got for pile number one pretty straightforward keep listening to your gut keep on going bye for now Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, let's see what we got for you. The outcome of this situation. Okay, you have the six of pentacles in the world. Let me adjust you slightly. I feel like you may expect an equal give and take here. So whatever you're investing your time and energy in, you're going to be paid what you deserve. There is an underlying feeling here that some of you set limitations for yourself. I can only earn that much or I can only do it that well. In actuality, your cards are saying you can do much more if you do not set any limitations to the outcome. Okay? Now, what you may expect from this outcome is visibility, possible travel, and some of you I'm seeing you're going to be signing off. Um, but it's a good sign off. It's as if, you know, I log out, I get paid for what I've done for that day. And I'm moving on to something else because I'm seeing the end of a cycle here with the world card. So for some of you, maybe you are completing a project and you're getting paid or you're getting feedback from people, financial feedback universally from the outside. I'm also seeing if anyone needs help with whatever they're dealing with. 
there is help out there, do not isolate yourself. Say, if you need to ask for advice, if you need to ask your family member to help you out, in some tangible way I'm hearing, ask for help. Some of you I'm seeing you're going to invest your time in studying and research and that's going to be very, very beneficial. But make sure you practice what you learned. Overall, as an outcome, a balanced completion. You're getting what you deserve. But for some of you, I really want to... <laughs> can't stress this enough if you say if you're working in a job and or you have your own business and you go okay that is enough for me financially wise I keep being told to tell you not to set any limitations because you can do much better not to say that is not good enough what you're doing already but you can do much much better if you allowed yourself in your own headspace <laughs> to earn that. The world is your oyster, pal number two. Remember that. The world is your oyster. There is plenty of resources for everyone out there. So how out there are you willing to be in order to claim it? Hopefully this made sense. If you need extra content, I have Patreon. If you'd like to join me there, I'd be happy to see you. And for the rest of you, have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hey, group three people. Let's see the outcome of your situation. We've got Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Mm, there is a bit of, there is lack of conclusion here, what you may expect, um, because what I'm seeing, someone is very patient with whatever endeavor this is that you're asking about. Someone is super patient, but at the same time, they tend to be stubborn in their views, or it's, I can only achieve it that way. It only worked for me that way. I think someone is going to be challenged to try a new path, a new structure, a new technique. So the outcome is not really seen just yet because it depends on how reflective someone is. I'm also seeing for some of you, there might be a need If, for example, you feel like you're not valued enough, this is not for all of you, if you're not valued in your jobs or whatever you're dealing with enough, you're going to be, you're going to have to be that person who stands up, shows someone a list, that's how much I've done, do you still not see value in me? Or do you see how valuable I am? There needs to be Someone really needs to be more assertive. But there's a thin line between being assertive and know it all. Because I'm seeing that for someone, the same structure or the same way of doing things all over, all over, all over again is not working. If that is you, change something around because we don't have a set outcome for pile number three just yet. It depends on your actions. Okay, so if you feel like you're lagging with something or you keep postponing something, you know what to do. Let's take action. Let's see where that takes us. If you are noticing that you keep trying but something is not happening, I feel like there needs, something needs to be tweaked in order for you to get the outcome that you want. Because there's a bit of that push and pull. I keep trying or... Um, I'm trying to have more patience, but mm, nothing is happening the way I want to. It's asking, step out of your situation and look at it as an outsider. What advice would you give them? 
Problem number three is not a set outcome just yet. So if you want to, you can choose one more group with intention saying, okay, I recognize what I need to do from this advice. If I did that, what the outcome would be and choose one more pile if you'd like to. But that's what I have for pile three. Hopefully this is beneficial. If you need extra content, I have Patreon. I'll see you there if you'd like to join me and for the rest of you, have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hello, pile number four. Let's see the outcome of this situation. You've got the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Doo -doo -doo. This is the only pile that I want to clarify something, so bear with me. slightly here we go bottom of the deck by the way we have the four of pentacles so what we are seeing here what your cards are acknowledging first of all is um, if we continued staying in the same place I don't know why it's very connected to the same place so say um, the same job the same environment um, the same something that keeps you on your toes or that makes you feel stressed or anxious i feel like you can expect more of that anxiety what your cards really want you to acknowledge that it's time to go so i don't know what that means and what you're asking about it's time to go it's it's time to move forward it's time to Turn our backs to something that is so, so familiar that you've done before and you've seen that it hasn't worked. Say, if you stayed in the same place for X amount of time and your body's telling you that it's kind of nudging you to change something because you are tense, you are stressed. <coughs> JBL <laughs> turned off. That's, a, that's like, hello. <laughs> it's time to switch something off literally what is making you feel anxious or maybe will be there is a bit of a story here it's not so straightforward you may expect a trip you may expect a relocation you may expect a trip but in order for this to happen um, what needs to be acknowledged is anxiety stress and fear where is it coming from what do I want to do with it how can I change that what is the next step for me so that I can change that? I feel like what you may expect as well is a fresh breath of air. And with that comes peace. And with that comes better financial investments or better time management and a sense of security. Because for a lot of people in pile four, whatever is happening right now, it's not feeling safe and secure. I don't have a sense of security and safety, even if I am surrounded by people that I know, or even if I have worked with these people for a long time or I've done this for a long time. Paying attention to your body will be a key moment when you're gonna realize what, need, what needs to be done next. And I feel like some of you are going to decide to move, whatever that movement means to you. To land that security. Mm -hmm. Anything else? <laughs> Split the deck, we have happiness. Not only you're landing that sense of security, but you're becoming much happier too. And there is a drastic contrast between the Nine of Swords and the Sun card, right? So I feel like this is not only, um, maybe people are not only asking about finances and career, maybe they're asking about something else too. Would I be happy if I, if I quit this? Or would I be happy if I change something about my environment? 
Would I be happier if I took a plane, a bus, a train? And your cards are saying, yes, you would. And um, there, there would be help for, provided as well. Okay? So hopefully this is beneficial and that was useful. If you need extra content, I have Patreon. If you'd like to join me there. For the rest of you, have a beautiful week. Bye for now.